मुम्बई हस्पिटल अंडारे कारा मुम्बई <laughs> तो <coughs> विश्वजित कर देखा माइक्रोसफ्टूगल ड्राइव अंडारेल खान तीन जन भलो कथा अच्छा फिजर अंडारे एरा किस फिजर अंडारे एरा जरा आज प्रत्येक 
ঠিক আছে এস পার দা কেস স্টাডি করেছিস তো আমি কেস স্টাডি তো আমার অত খেয়াল নেই তার আন্ডারে কি ছিল ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা আর কে করেছে স্যার আমি করেছি দেখা मुम्बई हस्पिटल and uh, she has an assistant named preeti uh, so direct mane tar under e preeti mane erokom bhabe tar por ache je managers managers hisebe ache finance and admin manager hocche amir ar patient care manager hocche khan ei bare uh, finance and the administrative department is further broken down into three parts with their supervisors mm. Accounting supervisor hoche Hussain, Kiran hoche uh, marketing supervisor, or Fiza hoche administrative supervisor. Or each supervisor uh, they have the clerks mainly money. Hussain er ache money, Sivam, Amina, Kiran er clerk, Kiran er under ache Zaid or Resma, mm. Fiza er under ache Alia, Nisa, Padma or Nazma. Our uh, Khan, who is the patient care manager, he has uh, three supervisors for each department, like the emergency ward. He has Sanjit for the children's ward. He has Alisa, and for the ICU ward, he has uh, Sikant. And under each supervisor, there lies one doctor and five nurses. Okay, very good. Now, uh, how many? Uh, I mean, uh, can you identify line authority and staff authority from here? I mean, these things. So, line authority is. Uh, So line authority sir uh, six or two eight or be, eight zone. Because Hussain, Kiran, Fiza, this is the line. I say the same level. Same goes for Sanjeev, Alisa, and Srikant. Amir and Khan, two zone are same. I mean, two zone they are managers. So 
ছয় আর দুই আট আর স্টাফ এর হচ্ছে কি বলে রিয়াঙ্কা কি বলছে এই ব্যাপারে রিয়াঙ্কার কাছ রিয়াঙ্কা যে চারটা সৈমন্তিক চারটা রাখ যে চারটা সৈমন্তিকের এটা শেয়ার করছে স্ক্রিনটাও অ্যাসপাদি কেস স্টাডি ইজ ইট ওকে রিয়াঙ্কা হ্যাভ ইউ ডান ইট হ্যাভ ইউ গন ট্রিট স্টাডি ইট ইজ ওকে जिज्ञासा लाभ नहीं मान नजन जन स्टाफ हो मनीष शिवम जयदा रेशमा सता जन आदमी staff employees without line employees in an organization no sir because uh, staff employees does not have the practical experience because line managers are the ones who are actually doing the work so they have the part, um, practical experience to do the work and staff managers only have the educational uh, edu- educational value they are only there to help the line and manager to do their uh, day to day work can you unmute call theek hai to unmute call i sorry to mute kore ja मैनेजिंग एंड रिसोर्सेस Okay, both. The responsible for managing employees and resources uh, to achieve, we can say, we can say that to achieve a specific uh, goal. Okay, to achieve a specific goal, you can say um, that may be a functional goal or that may be organizational goal. Now, like uh, for example, you can say that uh, recruiting and hiring some talent. 
some employees actually uh, to fill some team positions or suppose providing training and support to new employees like that. So these are line management responsibilities. Okay, these are the responsibilities of the line management. Now, now my question to Shaheli, Shaheli Ghosh, uh, Shaheli, you unmute please. Yes, sir. Uh, do you agree with my viewpoint? I mean, whatever I have just now I have told about uh, line manager. Uh, do you agree with my point? So, have you got it? I mean, have you uh, listened? Have you have you heard it? Whatever I told just now. Sir, Agbar Bolman, thala sir, thala ha. Ha, mane am. Chetai bolne holo tu shonchi lida. A line manager is responsible. Uh, for uh, managing employees, resources to achieve some uh, goals. Now that goal may be functional, maybe organizational, whatever it may be. Now, for example, you can say that like uh, recruiting and hiring uh, some new employees to fill team positions, to, to uh, uh, fill up some team positions, or maybe providing training and support to some new employees. So these are the responsibilities of line manager. <clears throat> Do you agree with my point? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. If you agree with my viewpoint, then can you please explain us what is the responsibilities of staff managers in your opinion? In what is your opinion about the responsibilities of the staff managers? So staff managers uh, are the managers, those who uh, do this uh, recruiting and hiring all and line managers, those who are working in the field. Mm. More uh, clearly. Uh, Sir. Uh, so staff management uh, like is the management of subordinates in the organization. I mean, large organization have many of these functions, like a department which is uh, specialized and line manager are uh, those, uh, those who do the work on the field. Uh -huh. You are saying that staff managers are doing some specialized job. That is your... Uh, so, uh, the staff managers are the are the people like who do this like accounting, customer service, yeah, all this, and okay. sir, mm. line mm. line managers sir, uh, they are responsible for sir uh, like specific functional or organizational goals. Mm -hmm. so now you're right. Now you're right. Now you're right. So basically, we can say that uh, like uh, staff managers. They are responsible for uh, keeping staff engaged, motivated them, get them involved. Uh, they often uh, suppose uh, handle many, many of the same kind of tasks like you have said, you have mentioned like accounting, maintaining accounting and all that. Yes. So basically, uh, you can say staff managers they are some kind of they are performing some kind of generalized job they are not industry specific staff any any industry basically staff managers will be needed to support line managers actually because uh line managers they are doing some specialized job and nature of line managers nature of line management whatever you say that may differ from one industry to another industry, but staff managers, more or less, they are, they are performing a similar kind of job, like uh, interviewing and hiring employees, like ensuring they are properly trained, like motivating employees, all these things. Apart from that, maintaining accounts and all that, maybe, I mean, so, like, uh, uh, 
preparing a finish school that is the uh, responsibility of a line manager but uh, maintaining the payroll is responsibility of the staff manager now here one important aspect of the staff managers are the motivation that means motivating employees motivating other employees it is one of the important task of the staff managers so today basically we will discuss about motivation uh, today our topic will be motivation uh, how we can motivate what is motivation what is the uh, basic features what is the limitations what are the different types of motivation today we will uh, discuss about uh, those things shoymantik uh, to uh, screenshot off kore de ebar so today we will uh, start with uh, some kind of uh, i mean uh, how we can achieve uh, motivation on these things or what is motivation this particular thing we will discuss so the start basically uh, motivation this term you have already got this term i think uh, you have got it so, in organizational behavior yes you have got, you have got motivation so um, you are you are familiar with this term now in opin your opinion um, uh, what is motivation abhishojit what you will say if somebody asks what is motivation sir motivation is the inner burning passion that a person or a person particularly have in his mind uh, for which he can मोटीशन बेसिकलीट मे बी ग and then uh, maintains the goal oriented behaviors among uh, within an within an employee goal oriented behavior ekta employee er moddhe goal oriented behavior shei ta ke initiate kora ebong shei goal oriented behavior ta jate she maintain korte pare tar jonno take support ebong guide kora that is basically motivation okay so you know it's a, a key factor jeta uh, bishojit bol towards achieving something and it's obviously it can be described as the internal force uh, that impacts the direction intensity and endurance suppose i mean uh, of a person that means that is an internal force which is coming uh, uh from your uh, from within yourself but uh, what is the job of the managers job of the staff manager basically job of the staff manager is to initiating that thing guiding that thing and uh, maintaining that thing within an employee now there could be uh, different uh you can say uh, aspects like direction of the motivation that will be focused by goals it will be goal oriented thing intensity that will be uh, on the uh, amount of effort and the persistence that means amount of time taken for the effort to be exerted so these things three things are very vital for the motivation like 
a team leader encourages team members to work efficiently now here what is what is doing what is the job of the team leader the job of the team leader is to motivate his or her employees towards a goal and the goal is to achieve some uh, accomplish some some job accomplish some job so that is basically the motivation is now there are uh, some features you know that better than you know it um, uh, i think features of motivation there are some features we can say and you know that uh, motivation is an internal feeling that is uh, uh, if you ultimately uh, think about motivation you will found it you will find it that it is a uh, it is a psychological state of a person that means in what psychological state a person belongs right now that is his motivation that will the, that particular thing will be uh, that will govern his motivation level his or her motivation level if a particular employee he is not psychologically at, uh, psychologically stable at that at, at 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 this time he may not be motivated towards his uh, organizational goals uh, 100% so obviously you can say that motivation it depends on the psychological state of a person and obviously it's a continuous process it's not like that uh, sometimes it will be there sometimes it will not be there it, it is basically a continuous process it is not like that a uh, process which is coming and going and like that a motivation consists of three interacting and dependent elements basically there are three dependent elements jar upor motivation dari ache ba motivation jeta niye toiri tar ekta holo needs you know you have already uh, gone through uh, some of the theories of motivation we will also repeat it sometime in this course but generalize if we uh, try to make it generalize uh so needs is one element drives is another element and incentives is another element so today we will focus on this incentive and this kind of thing but need what is the need of a person based on that his or her motivation level will be governed or will be will continue then drives that means uh, some force kind of thing some force what is driving you towards achieving organizational goal some forces are there some visible force maybe invisible force internal force whatever it may be but that should come within yourself and if you feel the impact of that force then only you will be motivated somebody will be motivated towards his organizational goal his or her organizational goal and another very uh, common thing that is basically incentives now that is basically reward actually reward that is employees need to be rewarded at some time for their work and their and 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 to keep them uh, motivated so incentives are another factor so these are basically needs drives and incentives uh, motivation consists of these three interacting and dependent elements so you can say uh, these are some features of motivation now if we come to the point of uh, what are the uh, importance of motivation so you know that motivation is needed because motivated employees are more quality oriented they will be they will perform um, better than others if 
one employee is motivated and if another employee is not so motivated obviously the motivated employee generally generally will um, produce better result why because highly motivated employees they are more productive as i told you as compared to other employees now uh, it helps in achieving three behavior dimension of human resource the dimensions are like candidates must be attracted not only to join but also to remain in the firm that means uh, what we call uh, attrition rate so candidates uh, they will not only be attracted they will be there for some long time in the organization next uh, employees they must perform task in a dependable manner that means they should be co cooperating they should be cooperative they should be they they they, sh they should coordinate with others uh, they should be in the same flow with the organization and obviously the third one is uh, employee should be creative enough spontaneous and innovative as well when they are working they should be creative because if you are not creative then you cannot perform better than others if you are not spontaneous you cannot produce good result if you are not innovative you cannot be unique so these are some importance you can say importance of motivation now uh, basically uh, to motivate organization performs various activities uh, activities or initiatives whatever you say which is taken by the organization to motivate employees uh, that can be broadly classified into two areas one is financial incentives another is non financial incentives organizations performs delivers provides whatever you say some financial incentives to its employees and some non financial incentives to its employees so what is incentive you know incentive is a uh, you can say it's a positive motivational thing positive motivational influence which can influence obviously on a person that will help a person to perform better so if that is true then we can say that all the measures which is taken by a management to improve the performance of the employees are incentives so uh, in our next session actually we will discuss about uh, incentives there are two types of incentives you can you know financial incentives and non financial incentives uh, 
financial incentives which directly uh, provide some financial gains to the employees. Non-financial incentives, which is which, which are not directly financial uh, gains to the employees, but equivalent to that. It, is, it may not be directly financial gain of an, of an employee, but it is equivalent to some financial gain. So we will talk about um, this, both type of incentives in our next session. And then we will try to uh, see another case study on motivation. So that will be our next session. So uh, come and join in the next session because this session is going to be end. Uh, one minute time is left. So we're coming in, in the next session. Please join. Okay, sir.